welcome to my channel. <laughs> Just move that camera into the best position. Today I'm talking about it is done versus um, expectation. What is the difference between it is done and expectation? Is there, can you use them both? How do they work together? What is the best way to look at this in order to manifest effortlessly? And that is what I'm talking about on this channel. Um, it's manifesting effortlessly, taking the effort away from it, taking the hard work, because hard work and effort, when it comes to um, consciously manifesting something, is almost the worst thing that you can do, because it doesn't feel good. So you imagine your energy, imagine, ed imagine energetically what's going on inside of you when you're putting in all this effort, you are guaranteed to be looking for results, because you won't be able to help it. And when you start looking for results, what you're doing almost is observing what is now, because you're feeling like it isn't here. So you're observing the current 3D, which holds it in place longer until you get to a point where you can let it go slightly. But doing it like this, we, we're not even going to bring the term letting go into it. It's it's just, this is what I do. And it is done. And I recommend a really good book by uh, Richard Dotson. and it's called It Is Done. And I will leave a link to it down below so that you can have a look at that because he's a brilliant author. Really, really helped me back in the day. And I couldn't find anything on YouTube along these lines. So I'm going to talk about, first of all, let's talk about expectation and why that isn't really what you're looking for. Expectation is can be, be a little bit negative because what expectation tends to be is, okay, I have to expect it now. You've been told you need to expect it. You need to totally believe your manifestation is coming. You need to feel it. You need to expect it. Well, I can promise you that I never totally expect any of my manifestations to come. I don't want to get into that state. I never totally... I guess that would be awesome if I could go, yep, yeah, have a total belief. But there's two kinds of belief. There's belief up here yeah, 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 I'm expecting it, I'm expecting it. And there's a feeling of belief and that is completely different. And that's what you're looking for, the feeling of belief. And that can be quite tough to find until you get really, really practiced at this. So you, what happens is you then tend to think, okay, I've got to expect it. So you try to force that expectation. I'm expecting it, I'm expecting it. And one day you might feel good and you might really feel like you're expecting it, but the next day you think, well, where is it then? And so you get into that cycle, that sort of negative expectation cycle. So that to me is not what we are looking for here. I don't work with expectation at all. It never works for me, it wouldn't work for me now. Well, I don't try to kick it back in now, but maybe it would these days, but I don't even go there. What I do use is it is done and it is done is so powerful and it's almost like an intuitive feeling that you get when you say it to yourself. So you may do this, if you start practicing this as I do it, so it's one thing to just say it is done, but you don't have any feeling with it whatsoever. You're just spouting a sentence and it could be anything and it doesn't really mean anything. So you do want a little bit of feeling behind it. And what that feeling really is, is just an intuitive feeling like, yeah, I've done all that I can do. Yeah, it is done. But part of you will still think, is it really? Because I still get that now. Well, intuitively, I know it is, and I know it's going to come to me at some point. I have no idea when it is. You have to take time out of the equation because that's not down to us. We have no idea, and I can't, nobody can adequately describe the time thing with this. They can't because nobody has any idea, and we don't really get time. On a human level, we get it, it's linear, but it's probably not in reality. So, and we don't understand it, so we can't really. This is what I say about time, and I think that this is what's going on, that I can kind of place that with me. What's going on in your subconscious around a particular subject of what things might have to happen in order for this thing to come to you, even though you're not outwardly bringing those things into the equation on an inner level, you kind of think that those things would have to happen. So that can put the time scale on it. That's the only way I can um, work it out <laughs> when we are consciously trying to manifest as in really do want this thing and know that we've put some things into place to manifest it. Then that time does seem to be a factor. But then I have manifested crazy things that don't make any sense whatsoever. Um, where time is concerned, but because I've had zero expectation, I haven't even had the it is done feeling. I've just done it thinking, oh, well, I'll give it a go. And then it's happened a couple of days later. I won't go into those crazy things, but there was one particularly huge thing that was kind of a life-changing thing at the time. And it literally happened a couple of days after I'd thought about it. But I used the, which I use a lot, worst case scenario. If it doesn't happen, I will be okay because. And I did that with it. I might talk about a bit more about that, but it's not something I particularly like talking about because the actual situation wasn't great. But anyway, but I did turn it around and it was good. 
Um, so it, it is all depend, dependent on your feeling state around the subject in the first place. So when I say feeling state, I mean your energy, eternally how you feel about it. So the it is done works like this. This is how I do it. Let's say I am wanting something and I'm thinking, okay, I don't put any effort in because I know as soon as I start putting effort in, on a human level, being a human being, I will start looking for the results. I won't be able to help myself. So I've learned over the years not to go down that route. So what I would do is I think, okay, I want this. How exactly do I want it? Let's get complete clarity on what I want with this. Clarity is really, really important, I have found. Uh, so you can write it down. I don't write it down anymore, but I used to. Get real clarity on what it is, exactly what it is that I want, okay? And then I feel the desire for it. Even if that's a strong desire, that's fine, not a problem. Then I would say to myself, okay, what's the feeling of it? If I had it now, how would I feel? I do that, I probably, I mean, a lot of the time I don't even do this anymore because I'm so convinced that once I've got the it is done feeling, I don't need to do any of this, but this is the, the, the basics of it really and all that you need. So I would feel it as if I had it and then say, let's go back a few years. How many times would I do this? I'd probably do it a few times a day for a week or so, the feeling of it as if I had it. Then I would go, okay, it is done. I can't do anything else now. That's all I need to do is in motion. That reality path is being created. Now I need to allow it. So I need to get the feeling of it is done. So I said, okay, it is done. And I would be sort of really asking my intuition, my subconscious, my higher self to give me a feeling of, and it's just a split feeling mind this when I get it. And it just goes like this and it's gone. And it's like an intuitive feeling of, yes, it's done. Yeah, I feel it. And you've probably had it before where you felt like you just know that something's going to happen. You have that knowing feeling, but then it doesn't show up. So you feel like, well, maybe that was wrong and it didn't mean anything. That's always right, that feeling. It just means you haven't seen it yet. You just have no idea when it's going to come. So if you can kind of get on board with um, being happy with the unexpected and thinking, when is this going to happen? Kind of turn it on its head, that feeling of time. Wow, I have no idea when this is going to happen. I wonder when it's going to happen. I wonder if I'm going to be thinking about it when it ha happens, or I wonder if I'm going to be doing something else and that kind of thing. So you kind of turn all of those negative feelings around time on their head and do that. But as long as you've had that little intuitive feeling, that's all you need. You don't need anything else other than that. That is, it is done. And that is not expectation because with me I still don't expect it with that feeling I still almost feel maybe it won't happen but I kind of have that knowing feeling that it will I know it sounds like a contradiction but I'm working with what I've got here I'm working with what I am and how I feel about things and think about things and that's all that I can do and that's all that you can do is work with how you are not with how you think that you should be because you've read this or you've seen this video or seen that video. It's all about you and what works for you. Whatever you assume to be true is probably true for you. And what I assume is true is probably is, is true for me. There are no rules here. And as soon as you get on board with that, there are no rules then. And the little, the less you do, the better you feel about it because you don't feel like you're putting in a ton of effort. So you don't get frustrated like you do when you're putting in a lot of effort. You don't have that constant disappointed feeling that it's not here yet. And why is everybody else manifesting and you're not? You're just not living in disappointment. You're not living um, sort of partially in this reality and partially in the future, but never, um, you know, with, with that kind of mismatched energy because you're feeling like you don't have it all of the time. So an expectation, can be negative because it's it means you keep looking for it all of the time because you're feeling like you need to expect it and then you're hit with disappointment so to my mind expectation is not it but if you are the sort of person that really feels that overwhelming expectation and, st and feels like yes this is going to happen then you've probably got the it is done feeling as well and that's fine but it's just not relying on expectation and thinking oh i need to expect it because we can't really force a real expectation. I've expected things in the past that I haven't got, not, not manifestations, but general things in life where I've expected something to happen and then the opposite has happened. And I'm like, oh, but not in a manifesting. So I've had no resistance at all. So this is why I don't think expectation is it because we do expect things and then something different happens or we don't get what we want. We don't get what we expect. So, but it is done, it's completely different and you will get it because you've, that feeling is, yes, as soon as you have that feeling, you are pointed in the direction of that path, that path that's being created for you, that quantum path, you are then shifted onto it rather than it just being there waiting for you, but you've not been pointed in the direction. The it is done points you in the direction of it. And so you start going down that path. So then it's key for everything that happens then thereafter, even if it seems out of whack with what you want, and it seems completely the opposite of what you want, it seems like you're being taken down the wrong path, just trust it. Just go, no, I'm going to trust 
this seems weird and most of my manifestations that come have come a weird ass way so this seems weird and I can't see how this could possibly come from what's going on now but then I'm not in charge of that okay I've written the movie but I am not directing it so I need to leave that to the director whoever he is he or she is <laughs> whatever's going on here that's the director you are not the director and that's that. I'm going to leave it at that because I wanted to keep this very, very simple and on point. I don't want to confuse it with anything else because in a nutshell, that's what it is. And those three things. So the intent, clarity of the intent, the feeling of it, and then the allowing it. And the allowing it is tapping into the feeling of it is done. And then you allow it to unfold. You don't keep looking for it. Done. Okay. I'm an author. My books are all listed below. I have a new one coming out soon. Um, my deadline is for the end of May, the writing of it. So it'll probably be at maybe second week in June, something like that, once the illustration's done. And um, I am a coach. I offer some Zoom coaching, some email coaching. I, it's kind of a lot more limited than it was, but that's basically because of writing, you know, having to finish up this book. So I just don't have as much time. But by all means, pop along to my website and see what's available. I have a podcast once a week with my son, Harrison who also has a Law of Attraction channel. I also list that below and I will list the podcast below too. And I will also list Richard Dot's book, It Is Done, so you can go and have a look at that and see if it resonates with you. Um, he's a really great also. If you've never heard about him or never read anything of his, then I highly recommend him. And that's that.